Hey guys, this is Blarn with Elevate today. I'm going to be bringing you guys a Goyo guide on Oregon. I'm going to be showing you guys where to put your shields, how to put utility around Goyo, the whole nine yards. So to start, we're going to be looking at his Vector and his TCSG. The TCSG did get nerfed. It's not as good as it used to be. It is still, you know, it's still usable in ranked and competitive play, but I don't recommend running it unless you're just hitting your shots and you never miss then maybe run it You can still make rotates with it kind of kind of on the lower end side of rotate makers Not like as good as like the smoke shotgun me shotgun obviously, but you know, it's still viable I do recommend the vector though on Goyo. You're not gonna see many people running the TCSG So obviously running the elevate skin or else you're trolling just got to make sure you have the waifu buff, right? And then we are going to be looking at the attachments real quick. Hollow Flash Vert, this is the meta. I'm telling you guys, I will preach this to you every single time I show you this. Hollow Vert Flash, it's it's just, it's, you need to run it. You need to run it, you know what I'm saying? Pistol P229, really good secondary, pretty good fire rate. I really like this pistol. I mean, you really just can't go wrong with this sidearm. I mean, it's the only one he has, so why not? I, I recommend the muzzle unless you want to be playing like James Bond video games, running the suppressor, like crouching up behind people. That is truly up to you. And then I do not run a laser because in this game, the only problem is lasers. You can see where like uh, you're pointing your laser so enemies can usually see if you're flanking or know what angle you're holding. And then procs and nitro, I definitely recommend the nitro. You know, you have, you're playing behind a shield most of the time, so you can just throw it over your shield, put presets, I mean, why not run it? So now we're gonna be getting into basement on Oregon. I'll see you guys there. All right, guys, we are on a basement on Oregon, like I said, with the Goyo shield set up for blue mainly. Uh, so with the utility meta with the Goyo shields, I brought the Aruni Jaeger Wamai mainly to utilize the shields a lot better So to start with the Goyo shield elbow, you can have your smoke player here if you want The only downside with the Goyo shield here is if they burn the blue shield and this person trying to run back to reinforce this wall He might die to the fire, right? But you see as the Jaeger placements here with the Aruni and the barb This is going to be really annoying for the attackers to clear so that's kind of how your first setup should look when you're playing this. Next is the Arunigate on box. So when the person's peeking here, they can't be like flashed or have a grenade thrown at them. And then the Arunigate on the uh, tuck door, right? And then so the Wamai is usually going to be playing this back shield. And he can use his discs for either the stairs, for blue if that person's calling for utility, right? And then this is pretty much just all communication at this point with the Jaeger and the Wamai. Uh, helping with the shields, right? So, I mean, the goal of this setup is to be playing as much utility as you can on each shield so they don't get control of what they want to get control of as quick, right? And then, so this goes into my first tip with Goyo is rotating the utility efficiently with your team. So, uh, team, so let's say they're doing a freezer front, they're not doing a blue. Let's grab our utility and let's rotate it. So here we are, we moved all of our utility over to front freezer now. So the main goal of this obviously is just to burn as much time as we can. So the first Goyo shield to start is going to be on the laundry rotate facing towards freezer to give calls for the guy playing in freezer. And then an Arunigate front, Arunigate on ping. The, the whole point of this Arunigate here is to protect the shield in laundry so they have to just burn a bunch. And then obviously the Jaeger playing here. So obviously when you're swinging down a sledge here you're like, oh no, there's a shield, there's an Arunigate, there's ADSs. You know, it's going to be stopping them from getting their pushes quick. Usually have somebody playing the box on ping with ADSs. And then obviously the second shield is going to be in front of uh, supply. So to be holding bottom main with the Aruni gate so you can't be burnt from bottom main. Another Aruni gate on main so they can't clear that. And then you can always peek and help the guy freezer on ping. So as you see, we just all moved our utility according to the push. That's one of the big things with Goyo. Especially having the Wamaya Rooney Jaeger, you're just gonna be, you know, dump, they're gonna be dumping utility the whole round, and if all goes well, you're just gonna be shooting them in the head while they're doing it. So that is gonna be basement. Next site we're going to go to is kids. We are now on kids bedroom, showing you guys more of an aggressive setup for trophy. So the setup here is gonna have a shield facing master, so they can't get masters as quick. With the Aruni Gates, the Wamais, the Jaeger ADSs, somebody playing behind the shield, annoying them, shooting their drones. 
having somebody starting in trophy as well, holding the cross in a master with him. The only thing this guy has to worry about is the guy in his window or getting naded under, and then obviously playing barbed on his stairs so they can get a sound cue when they're pushing up. Opening up the attic wall as well, so the guy attic can swing and help this guy if need be. Usually the guy on the shield will be fine for most of the time with how much like utility clear he has helping him. And then the second Goyo shield is kind of just going to be backed up because the whole point of this is really one shield facing master for uh, the slowdown, right? And then this shield is going to be used later when they actually clear that out. So you have a shield facing towards uh, towards trophy, right? Usually you would have more uh, ADSs for the shield, but we obviously put some in there for master. If you don't like this one, you can always make a rotate into master and maybe put one in the closet if need be. And then now let's rotate our utility. So with this second setup, we all moved our utility for the setup towards more of like an attic and a big window white take. So now we have obviously a bunch of my discs, ADSs for the shield and attic. You can swing off this. This is more just to waste time. And then obviously just the default uh, kids door tuck shield for trophy door. You can peek uh, master breach with this. And then obviously using your utility effectively on how you want to set it up for the shields. So a lot of people don't like this shield because of how quick it does get cleared. So another setup you can do with the kid shield is putting it inside of kids, placing it on ping, and then um, using this so when they get into pit, you can always peek pit with this shield, you can hold big window. Only thing you have to be careful of is if they go under and dining and try to nade you, but you always can make holes in the floor, or open the hatch, or have people playing under there. So these are pretty much the default shields. And then obviously if they go big money, you can just nitro or hold the feet holes above. And then also just having somebody making sure they're not pushing white. Obviously my beautiful teammates put an absurd amount of barbed wire on the stairs for that. All right, so that's gonna be that site. Next site, we will go to meeting kitchen. We are now on meeting kitchen site. Goyo on this site, you really don't want to put the shields downstairs because every team usually likes to clear above and they'll just clear your Goyo shields. So we're doing more of a denial setup for above. And if they don't clear into this, you can literally kill the planter from any spot from above. So the first Goyo shield is going to be attic so they don't get attic control and get the meeting hatch control that can basically see the whole entire bomb site. Obviously, we're just going to put some utility, usually, you know, in a Rooney game, maybe on the wall, some ADSs, my, his, he'll probably play this shield, he's throwing some discs above as well. So the whole point of this shield is to deny attic presence, if they don't get this, the my player can just push up, kill the bomb planter on stage or anywhere in sight. Obviously, we're going to reinforce his back wall, so he's not getting shot from master. Next shield above is going to be the default one in kids again gonna have some ADS with some of my discs for this one if they do end up getting into attic you have this for the drop down when they push in and then obviously coordinating with teammates they shouldn't be able to get into attic especially if you have somebody playing in meeting holding the hatch when they're pushing above right and then the default holds big window so this guy and kids can hold the big window push if they go for a big window white take and then obviously the guy playing like security or bottom white can help them with that as well some holes to make for this site are obviously the kids one above for green hall if they decide to rush or obviously the the kitchen holes above with the hatch open that's pretty much the setup there the teammates just got to play that correctly to show you the bottom site now just gonna get the single walls make some uh rotates here usually have some holes in this wall for the plant as well default meeting rotate getting split walls as well Honestly, if you don't lose above, they're not going to be able to plant the bomb, especially if the amount of gunfights they're going to have to take. Pretty much all default stuff on the bottom of the site. If you want to put some utility, maybe like a couple ADSs or Wamais for the guy playing sandbags or whatnot, however you want to set it up. But those are the Goya shields you're going to want for above. So to show you guys the holes as well, there's some holes above for default plants here. They can't plant default kitchen because hatch and holes above. This guy's playing above. He can just look at the door when I walk in. And then obviously green hall holes as well if they decide to rush the green window or if they decide to rush maybe big tower. They're going to be walking into this hatch. It's basically just shut down on every push. All right, so now we are going to be going to the last site, which is going to be the kitchen dining site. We are now on dining kitchen site. I'm going to be showing you guys the Goyo setup that I would use in my ranked games on this site. First off, it's going to be the shower shield along with a plethora of utility. Obviously, this is five uses of utility here. If you're playing some boosted players, they're not going to be able to clear this, I promise. Especially when you have a cracked Jaeger main on this shield just swinging this guy on the window. 
this guy is not going to know what he what to do. So obviously, my team presented you with a nice utility setup here for the shield. When they end up clearing the shield, if they do, you can always have somebody playing in kitchen or dining, holding the cross in his showers. And then the other shield is going to be for the white hall, so they don't just walk up on the guy playing in showers, maybe from the window. Well, my put some, you know, pretty nice well, my discs on the lights to hold the shield as well as the, the Jaeger for this shield as well. So you can just swing this guy, maybe put some barbed on the door so they don't peek that. This guy on the window right here can usually shoot the guy in showers if you overextend, so just be careful of that as well. And then this guy can just swing showers. Some more things to be careful of are, is they can breach this whole entire wooden floor from above into dining site. So don't get too aggressive on dining door into a small. Just play off your teammates. Just don't overextend. Uh, for site reinforcements, pretty default stuff. Get the back walls. Make sure someone's watching green. Default rotates on site. Opening the hatch as well on the single wall. I have an Aruni get on white window in case they try to nade the guy playing this back shield. Even though there's an ADS there, it's just going to be more burn, more utility. And then above is going to be the kids, obviously. And if you play in here, you can basically deny all of the default above. Just proning on this angle and then obviously making the green holes above as well. You can always peek these holes if they go for default plant. And then always make the default holes above with like punch holes. Um, and then we reinforce attic wall above so they don't just clear this guy immediately. Pretty much the default as last sight as well but not playing it as heavily. The only thing you really need on this site is if they are doing an A take or if they're taking like small tower, have this guy in the hatch. He can always just call these guys pushing site. But mainly if you're playing this correctly with your team, the Goyo shields and uh, showers and then obviously the one back white will be fine. Also be careful of people walking up freezer or Z hall. But swinging this and clearing all this utility is really annoying. If they're doing like maybe a different take, always remember, just tell your team to rotate utility, rotate the Goyo shields. All right, guys, before I go, I'm going to be showing you guys a few more tips that I know for Goyo to show you guys. First one being, if you want to be cheesy, this is more of like a gold elo thing. If you want to waste a Goyo shield, you can always put it in doorways so they cannot run through it. And then maybe if you catch these guys running, you know they're there on a camera. You can just shoot the shield and it's going to get destroyed. It's going to probably kill them for the amount of splash damage it does. Another tip you can do with Goyo shields is obviously attach them on doors perfectly. Because Siege is phenomenal. Like this. So there's no gaps or anything at all. You can just you know attach it onto a door. Perfect. Bingo bongo. Third tip. Putting it on default plant. So this is usually like a default plant for the laundry site. The shields I showed you guys are more of the useful shields that you're going to need to actually like, you know, deny them when they're like peeking or taking something. But you always can put one like maybe on a default plant. This works better on some other maps as well. And then have somebody maybe Tux playing this rotate or playing, you know, playing the laundry. And then when they go for plant, if they don't clear this, you can always just shoot it. And it's going to make a bunch of splash damage on the default plant. And you see Thatcher sitting there, he has to run away. He did have the bomb, but he has to run. The final tip is going to be clearing Goyo shields vertically. So let's say they're playing this shield in your rank game. You're the attacker. So let's say I'm playing the shield. They get a Z-ping under. They have a grenade or whatnot. They have a drone on me. And they destroy my shield and I'm sitting on it. So let's say he... Look at that. Look how much damage I take. It's burning. I would have died if I wasn't on 210 HP. You'll get a lot of kills doing that with Goyo shields because people will just like literally be on the shield and you can nade under. But yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you to my phenomenal team. This is Grills. I'm Blarn, obviously, and my boy Foster, and George, and then obviously Gabe. All right, I will see you guys later. Goodbye.